Hello everyone and welcome back to Everything in One. And today I have so much to show you that I've done off camera. So I'm going to show you that really fast so we can get into what I actually want to do today. So first of all, I got a bunch of wood. I got a bunch of ores. There's also some in there and some in my inventory. I got lots of books. I got a woodland explorer map and an ocean explorer map. Even more books because I ran out of room in here. I made a path in there that goes straight to the skeleton farm. And most importantly, I have added a little bit more to the villager area. And I think this looks so cool with like the copper and it gets more oxidized the lower it gets. I just think this looks so cool. I also had a little bit of a villager breeder right here. It was not automatic at all. There was some beds, there was some workstations, and I kept throwing them food, and I would get a bunch, I would get a minecart, pick them up, they'd come over here, and I'd put them in the next empty slot. So now we have a librarian, a toolsmith, a farmer, a mason, a fisherman, a cartographer, a fletcher, a cleric, a weaponsmith, a butcher, a leather worker, an armorer, a shepherd, and another librarian. And I got so lucky with this guy. Look, Unbreaking 3, 1 emerald. Silk Touch, 1 emerald. What? That's like... Good, that's like... Really good. <laughs> so, now what I'm doing is I'm working on getting them all to master, and I have most of them. Except for the fisherman, the weaponsmith, butcher, leather worker, armor, and shepherd. So, I'm kind of working more on these guys. I'm giving them a bunch of iron. Like I think this guy, no, this guy takes iron. And it's really easy to level them up. And let's see what this guy has. Hmm. Okay, well, that's that's great. I also added a little area for bees. So we have 3 in each hive and there's also the same over here. And I put some flowers for them to pollinate. And what I do is I come in, I get my shears, and once they're full of honey, I'll take them. Same with that side. See? There we go. We got some. I don't want the bees to escape. And then we put them all in here. So now we have lots of honeycomb. I don't exactly know what to do with it. But obviously I could I could wax them. But I've already gotten all the the non-fully oxidized ones waxed. So they're not going to change. They're going to stay like that. And it's going to look really nice. Maybe I could... That actually looks pretty nice. Like the honeycomb. Because it matches because I have to wax the copper for it to stay like that. So having like wax coming off of it. I think that looks cool. It's staying. I don't care what you say. I also filled this with water because this is a sewer. And I'm going to add the walls. This is not just going to be an open area. It's going to be walls. And I'm thinking somewhere around one, two, three, one, two, three. So around here, we're going to have a door. It's going to kind of go up like that. It's going to go over. We're going to have the same thing on this side, but I haven't finished like the, the base of the wall, so I kind of need to do that. Hold on. We got more honey. We have more honey. I'm taking the honey, and I'm keeping it, and I'm going to get lots of waxed copper, and it's going to stay in there because I don't have any copper to use it on right now and yeah so what are we going to work on this episode you ask it's going to be right here it's going to be a sugarcane farm now i need hoppers sugarcane water sand pistons observers <laughs> okay i'm having a bit of an issue so i wanted to divide this place up and you know cover up the whole wooden, copper, bees, sandstone kind of build with the villagers with, you know, just like this stuff. The, oh wow, that's a, there we go. I wanted to cover it up with uh, stone bricks and mossy stone bricks because I wanted it to still have that sewer look when you're out here and you're going through on the four corners, but I've noticed that when you're going through, well, let me let me build an example. 
when you're going through and you're looking at this, it looks really nice from this view, but then you turn around and it just, it's not good. It doesn't look good. It looks fine from here because, you know, it's a sewer and it's going to have the door, but it just doesn't look right. So I did this. Hello, everyone. Um, this is a bit of a different kind of time lapse. Usually you would hear me, uh, actually you wouldn't hear me at all. It would be some music, typically from the Minecraft soundtrack, because, you know, why wouldn't I? I'm making a Minecraft video. But, this is not the same. I need, I actually want to talk about something, just because it's been bothering me for a while, ever since I've been making these videos, and I just don't know how to fix it. So, my audio, as you can very obviously tell, is one, very quiet, and two, very fuzzy. And I am trying my hardest to figure out what is causing that to happen, and how I can stop that from happening, but I just can't figure it out. So, if any of y'all uh, want to help, that would be great. Just leave a comment. I would really appreciate that because, I mean, the fuzziness, I can kind of, you know, accept that. Obviously, I don't want it. But the fact that the audio is so quiet, I, it's pretty bad. I, <laughs> I cannot have that continuing in my videos. Another thing is with my videos, I will be experimenting with a bunch of different intros, a bunch of different outros, as you saw in episode two. Um, it kind of it kind of did the the whole uh, everything in one, and then it cut to a black screen that said "Thanks for watching, like and subscribe." It was cool, but I didn't really like the black screen. I was gonna change it to another color, maybe a different background. But you know, as I said, I'm still working on that. I also, as you saw, added an intro rather than just music. I also changed the intro music to something that I feel like is. A lot more fitting for the intro kind of not animation but video because what I want to do is I want to have a little segment of my video kind of blurred out saying Evan Bevan here you're about you're about to watch or whatever and then it cuts to a, another screenshot of something probably usually in my world that'll say everything in one or if it's another series, which I still am deciding what to do, because I want to do multiple things on this channel. I don't want to have one thing, because that can get, not boring, but repetitive. And you know, so, you know, if I'm doing another series, it'll be a screenshot from that series. And it says everything in one, or the name of the series. And then, obviously, cuts into the video. And I think that's pretty cool but I am still going to experiment with some other things. And so if you like them, please let me know in the comments. And after a few of them, let me know what's your favorite. And I will, I will listen to that. Cause I'm, I'm not gonna post it if I don't like it. So anything you like from my channel, obviously I'm gonna like. So yeah, just let me know your thoughts on the intro and the outro, and the music, and the audio, <laughs> but there's one more thing that I do want to talk about, and that is the dragon fight for this world. I'm not sure how to come about it, but I don't really want to include it in a video, or I want to include all of it in a video, if that makes sense. And what I mean by that is, I either just want to get it out of the way off camera, and be like, hey everyone, I I did this, there you go. But that might seem a little weird, because obviously, you know, I'd have a dragon egg, I'd have just a crazy amount of XP. I, if I go to the end, there's gonna be no dragon. And some people are gonna be like, Where where's the dragon? Why didn't you why didn't you show us the dragon? And that's because I don't like the dragon fight, I guess. It's not that it's hard, it's that it's, and it's not easy, it's 
boring, I guess. It's not the kind of content that I want to put on my channel. Because obviously, so far, the channel has been about to be the sugarcane farm, which I think turned out very well, actually. And building. Lots of building. Very nice things. I have lots of things that I want to do, actually, in the desert. Um, those are going to be very cool with copper. Even though copper is so hard to get for me for some reason. So I'm not too sure about doing the dragon fight off camera and then coming back another episode like, well, hi. I also don't want to do a series, uh, an episode where it's the dragon fight because I don't want, I don't want to do it. I don't want to fight the dragon. So I don't know why. I would want people to watch me fight the dragon if I'm not going to enjoy it. So I'm having a little bit of a dilemma, I guess. The other choice, like I said, was I put all of it on an episode. And by that, I mean literally all of it. Like uncut, full, long episode of me you know, getting the dragon fight, collecting the, the blaze rods, and maybe this could be like a separate mini series for my main series. I think that could be interesting. Like maybe it could be called maybe it, it, everything in one uncut. I don't know. Like just the raw footage of me doing something boring. Now, obviously I would love to live stream, but I don't have the viewers for that. I don't have, you know, I don't have enough anything. I don't have the right audio to do that. So until then, I, w I think this Everything in One Uncut series could be cool, like a side series. Um, so it could be split into multiple episodes, maybe one of them's like preparing for the dragon fight, um, getting the resources, and then there's another one, and it's actually the dragon fight. <laughs> and I think that could be cool. I don't know who would watch it. I don't think anyone would watch it. Um, but, you know, it's out there. If I don't put it on my main channel, or, sorry, if I don't put it on my main series, then people are going to be like, where's the dragon fight? And at least I'll have, you know, a place to to lead them to. Like, hey, uh, I did do the dragon fight. It's not here, but it's on this other series. And so they're at least like, okay, yeah, you did it. Good job. So I think that might be what I'm going for, but obviously I don't need to fight the dragon anytime soon until I get into much bigger projects, which hopefully I want to do. I I have an idea for my mega base, and I don't think it's something anyone has done before, and I think it's going to be very cool, and I think you guys will like it as well. It will take many months, like many months, but... You know, we can do it. It's fine. So yeah, I have plenty of time to make that decision. Also, again, let me know in the comments what you would like. Because, you know, if you want to see something, obviously I want to show that. But yeah, that's all I have for this time lapse. So let's get back into the video. Well, that was interesting, wasn't it? So you might be wondering why I decided to do that. Um, I kind of explained that before we started the time lapse. It just didn't look very right having the walls be stone bricks in this area be like this. But also, I just feel like having four corners in this room and each one look different, I, I don't think it would have looked right. So having this stripped oak go into stripped birch, <laughs> and then with the sandstone, the honeycomb block, and the different uh, oxidiz oxidization levels of copper and the occasional diamond block because, you know, I'm starting to get rich and I want to show everyone how rich I am. It, it just looks so much better. And it looks... I don't know. It Just something about it l looks a lot better than having four different themes and four different corners. Plus, I wanted an excuse to use copper. And now I have an excuse to <laughs> use copper. But I'm just going to say right now, don't use copper. <laughs> that 
that's a joke, but partially not. Because I spent all of today just getting enough copper to go from here all the way around to there. And it took, just for reference, I started recording maybe around 10 o'clock this morning. It is now 10 o'clock at night. And I'm going to say about 40% of that time was actually gathering the copper. The other 60% was just watching it oxidize and waiting. It took so long. Uh, I also like the honeycomb blocks because it's like coming out of the the copper. I don't know. Just a nice little detail. This is temporary, by the way. I just needed a way to get a honeycomb while I was building this. And having it in the floor was very out of the way so I could walk around. I also added more of the lights with the spruce trapdoors. So it just looks very, very nice. So now we can finally get into making this sugarcane farm, which I've been waiting to do all day, but just this place looked so off to me. So let's get started. I'm not going to do this in a time lapse because that time lapse you just watched, it, it was long enough, okay? Why did I? I'm not sure why I went down here. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and build it. I'll do a few progress updates because I don't want to cut to the finished product, but let's go ahead and get started. Woohoo! Progress update one. It is very green, but it looks really cool. So we're going to have different sections. So here's one section, there's another, there's another, and they're all. It's covered by like lime green glass and glass panes, and I think it looks really cool. And it's all going to end up in these three double chests right here. I might make an easier way to get to them, but honestly, that's fine. So that's progress update one. I now need to get more hoppers, but I actually don't have any more iron, so now I need to get more iron. It's going to be a boring. Okay, the build is now done, as you can see. We have all the sugar cane in place. We have the water in. This one so that the sugar cane can grow. And this one is so when it, you know what, we're going to use this by glass and it's going to look really cool. And this one is when the sugar cane is pushed into that and it gets pushed into the water, goes through the hoppers, and it ends up in these chests. Now, it may look like it is working because there is sugar cane in here, but that's just because I had broken some to get to get past there's also some on the platform hello oh so now we just need to wait to make sure it does actually work it works yay we got this part it pushed them off oh well you know what i don't even care about efficiency it looks cool it may not give me the most sugar cane but we got some sugar cane. I'm not too fussed. Now, sadly, I know this episode is a little bit shorter than most other episodes that I've made, but it is very late and I really need to get an episode out, so I'm gonna end it right here. So, uh, let me get this out of my... Wait, can you? <gasps> you can use it in your offhand, that's cool. Anyways, so if you enjoyed, then, well, I guess thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed, then please hit that like button, and if you really loved it, then please subscribe, that would be really great, but thank you guys for watching, and I will see y'all in the next episode. Goodbye!